Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of our Arch Survival Evolved Let's Play. In this episode I have already picked out a base location that I want to start building and I've spent a little bit of time before this episode gathering up some building materials and also we hit max level while gathering all the resources. I really do regret not turning down the XP. I, I sense have. I actually did in like it was by episode 10, I don't remember exactly which one I did. But yeah, I just wish we hadn't gotten so many levels so early on at first, but that's fine. Doesn't matter too much. Um, but yeah, it's not right here, which is where I pointed out last episode for the ground being so flat. I found a spot that I actually like a little bit more. And it's just right over here. Also, all that obsidian reminds me, I found a spot that, uh, has a, a lots of really good resources that are really close to where I want to build. It's right over here. Um, I didn't mine them yet because I wanted to make sure they would be there for me to show you because I didn't know if everything would be respawned yet, but it looks like it would be because a lot of the stones and trees down here have respawned. Not all of them, but a lot of them have. And that's where I was doing most of my deforestation. But, um,. There's two rich metal nodes and like four regular metal nodes and a bunch of obsidian down here. Crystal doesn't really matter because that's everywhere here, but I just figured I'd point that out since it's not very far from where I want to build. Uh, where I do want to build though, over here, there's this little trail that kind of goes up the side of this cliff, like turns here, and take your poop. And um, up on top of this bluff, right up here, it's it's completely isolated minus that trail that comes up. And it looks really nice up here. And over here, there's this big old kind of flat spot as well. And I figured this is a really nice area because you have a really good panoramic view, kind of around. And I think it looks really nice. Uh, I did place the one foundation just to kind of line it up with what I think I want to do. And then in here is where I, I have all the uh, building materials. Oh yeah, also, I did loot a uh, GPS from a supply drop, and the pickaxe that we got from one of the Alpha Raptors last episode was better than the one we were using, so I swapped that out. Other than that, it's pretty much the same. Uh, but yeah, these are all the building materials, and I do think I am going to start building, so I'm just going to deposit all that on you for now because it's heavy, and yeah, I'll start working on this, so, already, I guess, uh, cue building montage.
All right, I think that's pretty much it, actually. All I need to do is make a railing for the thing. Anyways, my thought process behind this, I know it looks weird having the roof like that and then just being flat there, but uh, let me explain myself. Um, so first, I like how it kind of curves around to the side a little bit. All this is going to be just one giant window, which I quite, or I think that'd be quite neat. Have like a uh, really big panoramic view. Um, but the reason I did this is because I want to get a crystal wyvern on this map, and I think it'd be neat to have just kind of a place we can walk out of our house and park it. Aside from just being up here, like uh, down there for all our land stuff, maybe up here for our flying creatures. I just want to put a railing around the edge of this. And I had to do the this along here so I could snap these walls the correct way. And also, since it's at a weird angle, we had to do the walls sticking through each other, kind of. Doesn't look as bad as I was thinking, actually. Or as bad as I was thinking it would, but it's a little weird, especially when it comes to the ceilings overlapping up here. But overall, I think it actually turned out kind of nice. I like it. I know it, it's kind of ugly with uh, that little stair step, but I'm going to make up some railings and see if it looks any better because I'm hoping it will. So I'm going to do that really quickly. And also, why is that one of those kind of loot drops? That doesn't make sense. Let's go check it out. Oh. Uh, and see. This drop always hurts. Because I know I thought this map had the uh, kind of loot drops from the island Scorched Earth, not the aberration kind. So I wonder if this will have aberration stuff in it. It's kind of odd. Because since we're not underground, I don't know why it would be this kind. Let's see. Oh yeah, it does. It has a Shagreg blueprint. I don't want that, but it does. Huh. Um, also, since the, uh, since that was all just time lapse, even though it took a while, I know I had to go down and get a bunch of resources because I miscalculated on a couple things, but it's fine. <clears throat> um, I'm thinking I might go get like harvest up some metal or some of that metal down there uh, get it smelting uh, make up a smithy and see if we can make any of this greenhouse because I'm pretty sure there are beaver dams on here just need to go raid some but uh, but as of right now I'm just gonna make some railings oh two railings perfect why do those take 20 wood each that's a lot considering it looks like it's just five sticks of wood like the uh the four pillars and then the yeah also this is my other question is it going to stick through the wall right here and i think it might yeah it is so right here we're not going to be able to put a railing but we can't even fit through that so it's fine other than that i'm just going to put a railing all the way around so I'll bring you back when I have that done. Alright, so I just finished. Uh, I have the railing around out here. And in here I decided to also put one because once we have a wall over here, this will just act as like a little balcony, I guess. We might put some stuff up here. But I figured that adds just a little element of it actually being like a balcony so like we don't fall off when we're up here. Uh, from the outside... Oops, let me close the door. From the outside, it looks actually not as bad now because it looks like it could work as a balcony. So I like that about it. Um, it's getting a little dark. There we go. Uh, but yeah, I like that. Um, I am going to now make up a refining forge or two. Uh, and uh, get some metal going so we can hopefully work on 
um, making this greenhouse wall or this big glass wall and also I still don't know what these green particles that follow you around at night on this map are like I, I just I don't know what they are or why they're here but they only show up at night but eh, I haven't seemed to do anything yet so I don't know all right so I mined up most actually all the metal I could find in the immediate area down there and um, so that's gonna take a little while to smelt up uh, so now I think I want to go try and see if we can find some beaver dams so we can get some cementing paste oh, we don't need these I don't need that Ha. Uh, oh, also, actually, let's make, because we have enough right now, let's make a smithy. So, oh, I'm going to need fiber. Or hide, okay. Yeah, uh, let's just make a smithy so that we can, one, store materials in it, even though we shouldn't really do that. And two, because we will need it for crafting stuff and that's kind of far away from the wall. Uh that's good. That's eh. See, it's hard to tell when I have the high gamma on at night. Yeah, when I have the high gamma on at night, this is the thing I'm trying to place is super bright and everything else is like kind of dark still. That's good enough. So, yeah, um, but now let's go try and find some beaver dams because I think I saw some the first day when we were looking around. And I know I keep keep saying also, but I want to put a marker on the map of where we are. Okay, so we're at uh, 54.1 and... 34.5 all right and that's let's just call it home make it let's make it red wherever red was there it is perfect right, now we can go look for beaver dams I almost fell off the side, but I am going to fall off the side anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, I think back on the other side over here, where all those blue crystals were, and like the white cliffs, I'm pretty sure that I saw some beaver dams over there. I could be mistaken for somewhere else, but I'm pretty sure that's where I saw some. So we'll go see. All right, that wyvern scared me. Oh. 135. I know we saw the other time they could spawn higher than 150. So I'm gonna, huh, we're right here. I'm going to wait around, to see if I can potentially eventually find another one. But I'll have to keep that one in mind. That's a decent level. Anyways, over in this area, I think, is where I saw beaver dams. So I'm just gonna look around. Alright, I looked around a decent large area. Down in that little um, area with all the blue crystals and the like white cliffs. And I couldn't find any beaver dams. So... I think I'm probably just going to resort to making cementing paste. I know I have some chitin, but I will definitely need to go get more. Um, so, probably going to make a couple trips over to the desert biome, since I know there were a lot of thorny dragons over there, and they give a lot of keratin. So, that's probably where I'll go next after I get a mortar and pestle made up as well as uh, just a bunch of cementing paste going already and that is a big drop we didn't take any damage though alright uh, 
I mean, I did find more crystal wyverns. The highest level one was at 135, I pointed out earlier. Um, and other than that, I didn't really find anything else of interest. Just a lot of really pretty areas. But yeah, I'm going to uh, start crafting a bunch of semantic paste, I guess. Oh, hey, a thylacolio. I heard it getting mad. What level are you? You're 25. Okay. I, I was running through here, and I heard a thylacolio get mad at me. Oh, another one. Oh, and a carno. Oh, of course, it's a carno, because there's always a carno. But yeah, huh, I, I, I would expect the thylacolios to be in the redwoods, not over here. Sorry for that random cut. Um... My recording software ran out of space on the, in the uh, file on the hard drive it was recording to, so I had to make space. So that's what I had to do, and we're back now, so that's fun. Anyways, I'm just getting a bunch of gear. That's why I'm over here. Because <laughs> thorny dragons are very good for that. But yeah, I didn't know Thalacolios would spawn over here. I expected them to be spawning in the redwoods. Because that would be what makes what would make sense. I mean, I don't know. That would be what would make sense for, uh... If you're going off of the island. If you're going off Scorch Earth, then it makes sense that they spawn over here. Uh, I was literally just about to say I know I'm going to run into a high level one of those and I'm going to regret it. And then there's a 145. So, because I do probably want to tame one of these thorny dragons at one point. Or another to, uh, so we have something that can get us a lot of wood. But, I don't know. I debated going over to Scorched Earth again really quickly and just grabbing, um, our Dodicarus. Anki and uh, Thorny Dragon, just so we'd have harvesting dinos to make building the house easier. But I refrain from doing that. So, looks like every time I'm building a house, which is what the biggest resources sink would be. Oh, I was gonna say, is that another Thylacolio? But no, it's a, uh, it's a saber tooth. But yeah, so whatever the biggest resources sink would be, so like building the house. Uh, I'm always doing that with just tools. Oh, there's another one. What level are you? 45. Oh, and a snake. Snark! Snark! Another snake. Alright, so all the cementing paste I was making up just finished. And I hope that's enough crystal. If not, I'll go get more. I kind of don't think it will be. Yeah. I, uh, because I calculated, I think we need about 35 greenhouse, I mean not 30, 45 greenhouse windows, and we can only make 30 here. And I'm pretty sure that's going to be crystal that we run out of. So, yeah, I'll go get more of it when we need it, but right now I'm just going to wait for these to craft and then place them down. Yeah, it was that, or it was the, um, crystal that ran out. But I'm just going to place the bottom row first, just to make sure that they can all fit and line up properly. And it looks like they can. Okay, so... I, li I actually like this little turn in over here. Alright, yeah, and we need just a few more. <clears throat> 15 more? Yep. Alright, so I'll go make that, but this actually looks quite nice. I like it. I like it a lot. And we have these green particles again. But yeah, I like this. Alright, yeah, I'm gonna go get more crystal. Alright, we can make the last 15 now, that's good. And another thing I realized though, um, is it never fails. I always neglect to think about, you know, running water up here or up to where I want to build when I am building a house because there's some down there and there's some all the way down there by where that red crystal is. Right below that plant species Z plant. Like right there, there's the water. Uh, so that would be a pain to run up here for a greenhouse. That's fun. I don't know if we'll need 
because I mean I still but I, I I want to obviously get established in all the non-story maps like this one but I don't think we'll necessarily need all the amenities we have on um, the main maps on these so I don't know if I'll even need to really build a greenhouse but uh, it might just be nice to have but anyways um, the window is finally done I quite like how that looks I like this house a lot yeah how it kinda wraps around yeah, I like it, I like it. And even though this little balcony area is weird from the outside, it's really functional. Yeah, I, I don't know. It doesn't look as weird to me anymore. I think I've just gotten a little used to it. But it still kind of looks odd. But yeah, I like this house. Alright, well hey. With all the rain that we've gotten, there's the third one I've seen and it's day what I can't see in K mode day five all right that's one thing I didn't miss from the island but anyways I really like how this house looks with all the panoramic view we'll get from it but yeah I'm really happy with how it turned out I don't know if this will be a very long episode or not um, once again for me it was just a lot of resource gathering which took a while so I, I really don't know how much will actually be in the video but yeah I really enjoy this house uh, and I hope you enjoy it too so yeah hope you enjoyed the episode and I'll see you in the next one